everything you're going to need. Um, it's not going to be finished in regards to painting. This is just showing the construction. I'll paint it later. I just want to make the video before I actually uh, had it all together and done with. You're going to need a covered litter box, the silver ducting used for the back of your dryer, a little wash basin. Um, you can see where that was one of my earlier attempts that uh, I didn't wasn't happy with the design. And the wash basin needs to be as big, I'm sorry, bigger than the fan that you're going to use as your exhaust fan. Now this is just a standard house fan you get for like ten dollars um, from the dog on and any uh, store pretty much and this is the wood that I'm going to put into the window uh, and I'll explain why I have it cut diagonally here in a moment and then you'll need a handful of screws and then this is the most important thing this is actually the most expensive and it ran me I think twenty three dollars it was for the Home Depot and it's basically a motion sensor that runs on batteries and you can set it to one minute two minute five fifteen or whatever um, whenever it's, it's sensing something. What I do is I leave it on one minute because while he's in the litter box moving around doing his business it's on and then it, it runs for one minute after he leaves. This unit controls this and what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into the wall and then plug your fan into this and when this turns on it'll turn this on. Now the way that I've built it is this came with velcro and this is just a temporary uh, until I just I screw everything together and finalize it the sensor mounts ah, inside here on this little peg if I can ever get it on there and what happens is when he opens the door this sensor will pick it up and then we'll turn on the fan and start running everything out the window right at the neighbor's house so anyway what you'll do is you'll cut a hole in your bin that is smaller than your tubing so that you have a better seal you're gonna have to cut a tube a hole for the tube in the back of the the litter box here and that will run all through here and what you'll end up doing is you'll end up screwing this to the wood board when you put it in the window with the the fan inside of it so that way as the exhaust is pulled from from this hole through this tube into here it comes right out the back window and here's what the finished product will look like after it's been assembled the fans just sitting inside there I have it set to high because uh, he stinks anyway so I'm going to try to do this one handed and get this into the window. I have it cut at an angle as to make it a perfect fit in the window. By having this little angle is how I can lift it up and drop it into place. So I take my extra piece of wood that I cut off to make that angle. I'll try to do this. And I place that in the window into the slot relatively painlessly and it fits perfect. That's it's on top, that's done. Then take your tube, stick it in the back of the litter box, and then plug in your sensor. And plug your sensor in to the outlet. Now it's not always a hundred percent during the day on account of the light. This is actually a sensor designed for for uh, nighttime usage with lights and what, what have you. So during the day it's not that great but as soon as the sun starts to set, like after, say, like 3 o'clock, we have no problems with the thing. And it usually gets kind of iffy on when it wants to work around, say, like 10. So, like, about 10 to 3, it's kind of like there's a gap. But he's usually sleeping anyway. Where it's really important is in the, the morning 
uh, around dawn and around dusk when cats are the most active, when they're out eating and pooping and fornicating. So anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, post on my uh, video and I'll see if I can't answer anything you have.